Hey, this is Joe from Cell Phone Geek. Today I'm going to show you how uh, when you first get your computer, laptop, desktop, whatever it is, after you hook it up, um, what happens when you first boot on for the first time. So I'm going to show you what it looks like for the first time booting up a brand new computer. So I'm going to go ahead and push the power button. Lights up blue. <coughs> it's going to start booting up here. And I'll walk you through a quick uh, tutorial on what to do when you first get your computer for the first time. So starting windows. See if I could turn this a little bit better so you can see it. I guess that's pretty good right here. Setup so is preparing your computer for the first time. Setup so is preparing your computer for our first use. So it's two minutes, and here we go. Type your username. Um, this is going to be the for the user account of the administrator on this computer. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm trying to think what am I going to name mine here. For the username, username I'll call Joe, and then it says type a computer name, which is down below. The next one down here, which comes up right here. First one was for the username and then for the bottom I'm going to change that because um, whenever you hook to a wireless network or hardwire into a network you don't want to have it uh, going you don't want it to show up your exact name exactly because then everybody knows where you're connected and what information you're giving out so it makes it harder for hackers to hack in or whatever or whatever you're, wherever you're at local restaurant, McDonald's or something on a public Wi-Fi. Alright, so I'm going to do computer name. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to name it Black Box. Just to be a little bit different here. Alright, it's asking for a password. Um, I'm not going to do a password right now. You could just leave these blanks as you just recommended, but you don't have to have a password. Otherwise, you're going to have to type it in every time you want to use your computer. <coughs> so I just hit next, and then you have to agree to the terms of Microsoft. So you got to check two boxes, and then you hit next. Let's see, maybe I can hold this down here. Maybe it's a little bit better this way. I don't know if you could read it. All right, uh, sorry if you can't exactly read it, but I'll read it to you. Use recommended settings, install important updates only, or ask me later. I always choose ask me later, so then once you hook to your internet later, then you can go in and change the these settings for your updates. So I'm going to go ahead and hit ask me later, which is that red one. All right, and then i got to change my time zone here because I'm in central time, U.S. and Canada. All right, I'm going to hit next. It's asking about wireless networks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect to my network here. Uh, hold one second here. Let me type in the passcode. All right. Once I type in the passcode, then it pops up here and says, uh, select the computer's current location. Well, this is my home network, so I'm going to click on home network. Otherwise, if you go to McDonald's or any public Wi-Fi, or if it's an open Wi-Fi, if there's no encryption or where you have to type in a password, I would recommend clicking on public network. That way your computer doesn't share all its information with the rest of the network. Um, just for safety reasons and so you don't lose your passwords and stuff. So people don't hack in and get your passwords. Alright, so I go ahead and click home network. <coughs> so it's connecting to your network and applying settings. All right, Windows 7 Home Premium. Windows is finalizing your settings. So just about ready. It's booting into Windows for the first time here. Welcome. It says two minutes, like it said before. And it should load the desktop screen here any moment.
and it says preparing your desktop right there in the middle preparing your desktop still says two minutes just waiting for it to load here This is Acer in the corner. Just because this uh, part of the setup uh, is taking a long time doesn't mean that your computer is going to be running slow. It's just because the Windows operating system is booting for the first time, so it's got to move some files around and put in your information into all of its different uh, slots for use later if needed. And setting up your user account, since we made that user named Joe. That's got to be created and it's doing setting up the default desktop settings. So it's putting all that in order. That's why it's taking as long as it is. It says only two minutes, but it's been a minute and a half so far and nothing's come up. So let's see if it really is two minutes. It may take longer. But even if you have, this is only a, is either, I think this is a dual core, even though it's the i3, but I could be wrong, it may be a four, a quad core. Um, and it's only got four gigs of RAM. So. It's not the passive machine around, but even if you have a the six core or an eight core processor with like twelve gigs of RAM or more, uh, this process still takes the two minutes or whatever it's actually really going to take. It won't it won't be real fast. It's just the way it goes because it's got to move files around and it's got to get hooked up with everything. All right, here we go. Register your products. Um, I'm gonna hit skip for now. Um, I don't normally register every product that I get but if you're one of those people that has to register everything go ahead and register I'm gonna hit skip for now and it's asking me if you want to do the Acer recommend recommends McAfee internet security for your PC protection um, I recommend going against that the uh, McAfee isn't uh, that great of a program that slows your computer way down so I'm gonna hit activate later I'm going to actually just uninstall that, which I'll show you in another video of all the junk that they install on your computer that you got to go in and uninstall. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now it's going to load the desktop screen. And if you read up here, it says setting up personalized settings for, and it says Windows, Microsoft Windows Media Player, and I'll name through a bunch of ones. Windows Desktop Update and a whole bunch of things. And it's loading the screen here. Yeah, so I'll make another video. Uh, and I'll show you all the uh, apps and all the programs that they install on your computer that you don't need that you can go and uninstall. I'll show you the easiest way to uninstall them all so your computer will be running faster than it uh, is currently because a lot of times you buy a brand new computer and it's got like 50 programs on there which you'll never use and then the computer runs all slow from the start then you gotta bring it into a technician and have them look at it. Well I'll show you a way so you can save some money and you can uninstall all the programs for free and you don't have to worry about the computer slowing down all right, and that'll be in the next video. All right, so here is uh, the uh, desktop screen here. Of course, they got all sorts of icons on here, stuff I'll never use. I like 60-day trial of Office. I have uh, Office 2007 already. I purchased at the same time as purchased the laptop. So I'll be taking. So I, you can either punch in the serial code, or I, I like to uninstall it and then reinstall um, the disk that I have with the new code. And that sort of thing, a couple other things like Acer games and stuff, which I'm not, I'm going to be using this laptop for school, so I don't, we won't be playing too many games here. And then here in the bottom right, you look at all the things that are loaded here, there's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight things already loaded here, which isn't necessary, most of them I'm going to be able to take off. Alright, so once the computer is booted up like this, uh, I recommend going to start and clicking the button that says shut down here. Go ahead and click shut down. So the computer will shut off for the first time since you just booted it for the first time. It's got a, what it does is when it shuts down, it saves all of your settings that you've currently done, and it uh, puts them in the memory and saves them for next time. Hey, there I am. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and push the power button again to turn it back on, and once it boots up, it should boot up a lot quicker now, and uh, it'll be all set. I can start putting my stuff on it, uninstalling the other programs, and I'll be able to start using the computer, and uh, it's mine. Alright, have a great day. Don't forget to, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment on the video if you'd like and uh, thumbs up on the video. Thanks. Have a great day.